And hi guys, let's get right into it then. We're on episode five. Anyway, so we got quite a lot to talk about. I mean that's why I was kind of, you know, we're filming on a weird day. But yeah, let's get going then. So top of the evening story a few days ago, Amazon rolls out encryption for ring doorbells. So that this is kind of for starters. When you read that, you think, hold on a minute, Amazon didn't even have a secure ring doorbell thing. Like, they didn't even have it secure when they released it to the public. So they probably released it so then they couldn't see other people spying on them, seeing if they buy their product. Well, that's conspiracy theorists here, one on one. This, this guy is conspiracy, conspiracy theorists because Tenek is VK, and that's a I'm bit. I'm not a nickname, it's messy. Okay, no. No, 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 that's just weird now, that's very weird. You're not a little kid, just don't do that. But uh, anyway, so basically, yeah. Um, encry- thingy, Amazon is to offer end-to-end encryption for videos captured by the Ring doorbell worldwide following a successful trial in the US. It means that only the smartphone on which the videos received will be able to read up the files. So end-to-end is like a security thingy. So basically, it didn't have end-to-end encryption, but it must have had, you know, encryption, like, you know, in general, like secure thingy, so we were wrong then. But, um... It's still kind of concerning, don't you think? Because think about it, like, maybe someone could have, in that time when they didn't roll it out, someone could have had access to, like, you know, your security footage, and then that's a security risk, isn't it? Yeah, that's so creepy. Yeah, that is very creepy. So when when a company like this releases a doorbell, like, and then doesn't do the main things that people want, and then people don't even, most people don't even read it, like, you know, the end-to-end stuff and all that, they just care about, oh, it's a ring doorbell, oh my god, I'm yeah. going to buy it, you yeah, just can buy it to the store, <laughs> exactly, you don't, sometimes yeah. people need to realise that if you don't check thoroughly, people you won't know something. People just that right? when they get robbed, they're like, oh no, I need a camera because I lost it. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, but you need to do some research before you exactly. buy a camera. Mm-hmm, you need to read doorbell, exactly. Mm-hmm. You do your research, you'll know for sure if it's um, secure. But, um... However, some governments, including the UK, says it's, it makes law enforcement more difficult. It's kind of weird. Ring says police in the UK only have access to two data that ring owners choose to share, but adds that globally applicable laws may limit the availability of end-to-end encryption in some areas that decline to name them. So this is kind of a shady um, subject now because, let's say, I think they're trying to say that if there was a police investigation going on, yeah, about a specific person who's a criminal and, and get he's a friend of someone who and he visited somebody and they had a door ring but had their own camera and then a witness saw that criminal meet the guy then the police were going on more information about the conversation with the mm-hmm. doorbell yeah but then they're saying that if that guy wouldn't want to share the footage then that's not fair because there'll be end to end end-to-end encryption as well so the police wouldn't be able to get it so this mm-hmm. is this is a concern as well but i think that when it comes to end to end encryption, it's good, but it's like there is a limit where if it's like an important investigation going on where data needs to be shared, a person should be willing to share, to share it, yeah. And if they don't want to share it, then it's a concern, yeah? yeah. So I think, I don't know, they need to sort the situation out because, like, it's kind of one of those shady subjects. What do you think, huh? Yeah, it's like, why would they want to do that? Yeah, I mean, Obviously, you know why they want to do that, but yeah, why would they want to like hide it? Maybe to be a friend of them, isn't it? Like in their advertisement, they were mm. saying that they'll get notifications about anything happening when they're not yeah. home. Uh-huh. That's what they're probably trying to do. When no one's home, or when there's like a crime going on, yeah, they try to hide the videos. So whatever's yeah. going on, they hide it, and then they just pretend it was someone else. But why would wouldn't you saying that if some guy robbed up robbed somebody's house, yeah, yeah, and then hid that 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 they wouldn't do that. Well, the camera basically. What are you trying to say? They'll probably not show the clip. They'll probably get another clip and then show a different one. So why would they do that? Robbers, this is know. this is a normal situation though. I don't know. This is a normal situation though. I I meant a complicated one like with like the criminal is some guy's friend and he doesn't want to share the footage. I'm talking about that kind of thing. You get me? Like where end to end encryption will be in place so that person won't want to, if he doesn't want to share it then UK police can't do anything do you understand? I don't know what you were talking about you wanted something else I was really nah, oh my god man come on pay attention right I mean 
Yeah, that's how everything is these days. It's very complicated. This is an important issue because people talk about this quite a lot. I mean, there's privacy issues every day. Always, there's there's something going on about privacy, and it's like these companies, yeah, they need to just be on it. But, um, yeah, so Ring video footage is stored in Amazon web servers, but end-to-end -end encryption means the tech giant will not be able to view it or hand it over. Electronic Frontier Foundation asked Ring to consider making the change last year. Consumers' choice to buy a camera cannot and should not be a way to launder mass surveillance and streamline digital race profiling, it said. When transmitting any information that's sensitive, always wired to encrypt it. Yeah, this is a very important issue, though, about uh, encryption. Because it's like, it's about a theory about how they're watching you. I mean, Wait, they're, they're, they're stalking yeah. you or spying. Yeah, yeah like, you know, like how, um, uh, you know, people like you, who you know, who are all there and us. Yeah, I'm really sus. Yeah, yeah. okay, so, can you calm down with that, please? <laughs> just, no, just don't. But look, <laughs> alright, it's, alright, basically, hold on a minute, excuse the background noise. One Next second. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Some people, you know, with that hip-hop and all that, innit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking like no person. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, so point is of this is that Amazon's Ring doorbell didn't have end-to-end -end encryption. They rolled it out, and now they were suggested it, and now they're gonna do it, which means they won't have access to it all. And how it kind of brings you to think about what was Amazon master planning? They were trying to get away with surveillance and like surveillance of everything. That's what I'm trying to say, is like how the elders used to say to us, you know, whole like conspiracy based and all that, like how to say like how, um, uh, what's the word, you know, they're going to all be like control robots and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Everyone talks about that, but yeah, it, it, yeah, you never know. You just got to be, this, this is why you got to be careful, isn't it? But the firm said it has a mission to make neighborhoods safer with the utmost privacy, security and user control, like every other company which does that whenever they get into the situation. Isn't it? Yeah. Always getting away with this. Amazon feels, faces legal action over a decision to open up a range of its products, including the Ring doorbell, to connect to each other using homeowners' broadband without consent. A scheme known as Sidewalk. Yeah, Amazon, you deserve this legal action. Definitely, innit? What do you yeah. think? I mean, come on. That's, that's just not fair, you know. We wanted to get one of your doorbells. I'm not getting any of yeah, you, you know. Yeah, we actually did, you know. Yeah, we wanted to really get one, but now it's like, forget about it. What's the mm. point if you're gonna creep up on us? You know, every single day, detail of us, where we go, about going to the shop around the corner, or going to like the gym. No, thank you. I'm not sharing you all that. What, why does like Jeff Bezos and all and all these like people? Why do they know what we're doing for? Yeah, that's it's talking. That's it's really weird. It's really scary. Yeah, it is. It's not right. These companies need to stop it. It's like spying on us. You shouldn't be spying on people. Yeah, I mean, sorry if I sound really annoyed, but come on. If you were like, if you like, you know. Yeah. If you like could thingy about it, you'd understand like yeah. coming from like a tech geek, it's like, you know, it's just annoying seeing this all the time. Tech tech tech. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, next. Alright, this is an interesting one. So FIFA twenty FIFA twenty two is better on consoles than game PCs, says EA. The people who that made is, it. That, that is true because your know, controller hmm. apparently it's way easier than the keyboard because the keyboard you have to press more key binds to, yeah, that's true. to use it. Yeah, that's true. So you've already controlled it's more easier. Yeah, that's about key well, that's from that perspective. But this is coming from the people who make the game, okay? Yeah. So you need to be careful what they're saying. You have to think whilst they're saying it because mm -hmm. they're announcing a new motion capture technology that allows the game to write its own animations. EA says it's too powerful for PCs. Guess what player this is in the comments? Yeah, yeah guess they know. Everyone will know who it is. But yeah. yeah. Um, he, he was, and this guy, yeah, I clap for him, yeah. Two in a row. Two in a row cover photo for him. I mean, you may have missed that penalty, but. I don't. Did he mess up? Was he? Did he miss? Yeah, he did, didn't it? He yeah, missed. I think he did, yeah, though. but I don't care what people say. It's like legends make mistakes, and I I know these guys. Yeah, like, I mean, like, don't judge. it can happen to anyone. So just leave them. Leave these guys. Leave them. Especially dude. respect to them all. They they put their effort. They had to go to step up to the penalties. The people who are criticizing but them they guys, they are in the wrong because they don't know how much effort it takes to get yeah. to where they are. Yeah. Well, anyway, hold, hold on, hold on. We'll get to that. So. Okay. A few topics caused more aggression between gamers than the relative strengths for console and PC gaming, and now EA has come out firmly for the former. This is very annoying. Four coming version of FIFA 22 on PC will be missing features available to the latest generation of console players. The company, the company is confirmed due to different in specs. 
uh, as the latest trailer footage for the game shows, EA has included groundbreaking new high promotion gameplay technology, which the company doesn't expect PC to be able to handle. Before I play this trailer, yeah, I need to let you all know something. I've had a, quite a good amount of experience with PCs. I've done a lot about them. You've been I, building them. Yeah, obviously, Unbox Legend custom PCs. Follow it up. Yeah. More coming up for that. But um, yeah. yeah, let's get to back to the to the topic. Basically, so I believe deep down that EA. Hmm. This is kind of a shifty topic here because, for starters, gaming PCs are always able to handle like high gameplay thingy. All you gotta do is just upgrade the specs slightly. You get me? So, and the PS5 comparing it to a gaming PC, it would be like still, I believe, not like a high high spec PC like the three thousand pound one. It'd be definitely below that because like the PS5 specs aren't that high for a gaming PC high high one yeah mm -hmm. so when EA is saying that it's, it, you question everything you question is, are they hiding something in the PS5 which no one's telling you anything about they may be or they may just be getting everyone a bit more excited when in reality the console players may not know the difference between the PC and the console yeah because think about maybe it maybe they just don't want you to play on PC maybe like we have a con be... like you have a console yeah yeah but you don't have a PC so yeah, you don't know the difference yeah, exactly. Yeah. So how would you know how FIFA 22 would be on the on the PC and on the console? So Why you think, get both so basically, all I'm trying to say is this, okay, about this that you need to be thinking carefully because EA is the company who's made it and they're saying it. So I think they may be a bit wrong, or who knows? Or what, they're probably trying to hide something. They're just when, trying to get people excited because because FIFA yeah, always getting the same recently. Yeah, on PC. They're probably trying to get new football players who are football fans. Yeah, they're trying to get that. Or maybe they've hired something. I don't know. Let's just check this trailer out. I don't believe this for a second, though. Know, I'll tell you that. But well, yeah, let's check it out then. Um, quite soon, usually like I'm around the end of the summer, like September, October, around that ish time, the after, the earlier. So, one of my yeah. mates gonna wait so long. Hmm? One of my mates are gonna wait so long. Not really, he already knows how to drill his FIFA. But I'll tell you this much, okay? I believe that it's trying to get you it all hyped up. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to be like, oh, it's so difficult yeah, to win. Yeah, they did that for 321, but it yeah. wasn't that really good. But, no, they never have to up like this. Maybe they may be right. We'll find out when it comes out. If we get it for and we try it on the PS4, like a slim one, maybe if, it, if that ha can't handle it, or then, or PS5, like, or PS4 yeah. Pro, then we'll know for sure in it. Um, I believe they're just trying to hide it off for now. Well, I could be, yeah. Still better, even if they Yeah, but I could be wrong because you know, I'm not like, yeah, you never know. But I think personally, they're trying to hype you up, and a PC, a high spec PC, should be able to definitely handle this game. But this is them being them. That's it for FIFA. Yeah, but well, I'm still a good fan of their stuff. You know, they do a lot more cool things for the Same. games. Yeah. Anyway, next topic then. Tesla full self-driving software may do the wrong thing at the worst time, company warns. 
Watch out, Tesla owners. The company has been at pains to suggest to drivers they must remain attentive and behind the what? wheel, even when in autopilot. What do you think? Go on. I love Tesla. Yeah, but what do you think about you have to be alert behind the wheel when it's on so autopilot? that means you're not allowed, like, you know what YouTubers do mm. in, um, I don't know if I live there, but Texas, yeah. they usually do autopilot, they don't even touch the wheel, it looks like chill. Well, yeah, like, that's Texas, man. Yeah, it was really lit. But now here, yeah, 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 here you have to actually just don't use autopilot. You have to use the wheel. Yeah, but that's because that's like a so that's a different kind of thing. So no, cool. but think about it though. It's it's like experimental technology which is made for the public, and it's not fully there yet. That's mm -hmm. why they're warning people, and Tesla's warning it basically as well. Like it's full self driving software it may do wrong things, wrong time. And it has, they've had tons of instances where drivers have crashed their cars. Newest mm -hmm. version, which Elon Musk had previously announced, was scheduled for release in 2018, had been delayed to technological challenges. Has been a pain to stress drivers that they must remain alert, basically. This is an accident. Two men died after a Tesla vehicle crashed in Houston, Texas. Texas, man. Exactly. Those guys trying to relax, thinking that they can just go not off in it. Well, someone died. RIP to these guys. Rest in peace. Yeah. It's sad, and um, maybe you shouldn't use autopilot Tesla. Reckless driving as well. Tesla, shout out this video, please. Yeah, but e Tesla vehicles can be easily tricked into yeah. driving in autopilot mode with no one at the wheel, according to testers from a major U.S. consumer organization. Just did that the Tesla crashed, getting two men in the car. Just to say, neither of the men were in driver's seat at the time of the crash. Although Elon Musk claimed that the car was not in autopilot mode. Autopilot setting on the Tesla enables the car to stay accelerate and brake automatically when it's lane. For short of the self driving compatibility, compatibility, which once complete will allow the car to conduct short and long distance trips. No one actually required by which person the driver's seat. To be honest, for me, I think this can happen, you know. And maybe, um, who knows? We don't know what happened. Maybe Autopilot was. I just hope Tesco was not a Tesco. Tesla. Tesco, Tesco, isn't it? Tesco, yeah. I still, um, Tesla will, like, probably stop the band. Really? Why? I don't know. If you can't do all that while you're driving, then what's the point of buying it? <laughs> That's how I like the world the Yeah, most. I know. I liked how it just looked modern, but it just seems a bit like those kind of robotic cars. Like, it just doesn't look nice. It just looks too much... It actually it, does look nice because you know the point name on it. That's what I like. It just it. looks boring, like it just doesn't look interesting. Just like it's like family. for like a family, yeah, like a family man or one or mm -hmm. someone like that. Well, that's yeah. Six kids. No, no, don't be like that. Like someone. Well, who, I have a hundred kids. No, a typical fa Can you stop talking like that? Okay, a, a typical family, yeah. Yeah. If they had a car like that and that guy was like a car guy, he'd vomit and crash the car the moment he got the chance. How can you vomit? Well, firstly, if you want me at the look of it, because he's a car guy, and he wouldn't want to be caught dead in that car. <laughs> he want to be driving like a um, an estate or something like that. Or, and second of all, he try and crash it because he get away with it because of what's been going on here. It's experimental technology. I'm all for tech being tested, but the self driving feature they need to thoroughly like put on something in the software, update that in it, and say not and have sensors sensors on yeah. The sensors where if there's nobody sitting in a driving seat, they're simple, it can't drive. Basically, Tesla, no a lot of people going to buy the products. Tesla don't, I mean, Tesla is Tesla, oh, who knows? Okay. I mean, it's interesting, but it's just sad what's happened there. And Apple engineer died when his Tesla Model X on autopilot hit a concrete barrier, something he had previously complained to his wife about the autopilot feature rearing him towards. By the time Cars get to L5 automation, they wouldn't even have any st use for steering wheels or pedals of control, acceleration or braking. <clears throat> Excuse me. The idea is that these autom autonomous vehicles would be capable of doing anything an intelligent and experienced human driver could do. Including going off the road, what the hell? Yeah. So, to cut it short, Tesla, it's like these topics today that you're talking about. It's the kind of the shady and just the sad and just the where you don't know the two opinions. Yeah, like it can be either Tesla's fault or just in general software. She wears Tesla fault again. But um, we'll see what happens. Obviously, this won't get let go. People will the campaign for it. Yeah. Well, for Tesla, I'm not really fan of them that much now. 
at all. Anyway, what do you think? You fine with that? No? Okay. Um, yeah, next topic. Uh, Google fined 427 million. 427 million. 427 million in, in dispute. dispute with French publishers. Yeah. Mm, the French are trying to get some money in their pockets, isn't it? Yeah, I'm mm. learning French. Yeah, yeah. French guys, very shifty. What the hell? What's the no, topic French on? French is cool. It's really easy. Of? It's like English. This is the most weirdest site I've ever come on. Wait, what topics? I don't know where the topics gone. Huh. Uh, Clickbait. Clickbait, alright. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's go to the next one. Something yeah, more. Let's check, let's try and find it on here and let's see another article then. These are the weird. We're just prepared if we can go to Google Google find. Cool. Let's find out. Yeah. Has been hit with a 427 million fine by Fans Competition Authority, authority for, falling, for failing to negotiate in good faith with news organizations over the use of their content. What the hell? That is so. Why would they do that for? French are just jealous, you know. Jealous food. Bonjour. Je n'appelle. Bonjour. I am a jealous person. My name is. I'm gonna say my name is you are talk show. Je n'appelle. Um, you are talk show. Okay, French guy, calm down. Mm -hmm. Anyway, point is that before you accuse Google, I'm not taking an order to do so seriously. Well, firstly, yeah, you can't just put someone on the spot like that. You gotta book the meeting, French people. <laughs> Second of all, you gotta probably be polite, and you, you need to realize they are a world-renowned business. I don't think they're gonna have time for like a single thing when they have tons of issues every single day. Google told the BBC the decision ignores our efforts to reach an agreement. Yeah, exactly. Last year, French Competition Authority ordered that Google must negotiate deals with news organizations to show extracts of articles in search results, news, and other services. Google's fined because, in the authority's view, it failed to do this. 2019, France became the first year to report a new digital copyright act into law, law on so called neighboring rights, which are designed to compensate the foolish agencies for using material. Google decided it will not show content from you publishers. So France got mad. So it's in this like a world war on the internet. And um World War One internet, yeah. Um yeah. It's fine, unfortunately not the case. So basically end of the day, very boring way of saying this button. French are getting a bit suspicious and um <gasps> Google are fine. Maybe Google will have the wrong thing. Chestnuts I think. On the road. Okay, no more French, please. I love football. Okay, no more French, please. Uh, you have like a little value, but right? basically, Google, yeah. Um, they. I think they were just trying to avoid being into trouble in the first place, and now they're facing like nearly half a billion fine. Because it's like four hundred twenty-seven million. What do you think? Yeah. What? What is? That the French people would find five million. Five hundred million. That's yeah. euros, though. Mm. So four hundred twenty-seven million pounds was. Why do you think going? How did they even find in the first place? Hmm. How did they even find in the first place? Find it. Uh, because of the issues about the web stuff, like how Google went showing their some of their articles. And then the French were like not listening to in a way. Mm -hmm. and the French were like, we're gonna find you this much because you never listen to me. But um, you were the one who passed that law, so your consequence in it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, sorry. French is used to talk so long on like topics. First, the French are getting weird, you know. After French they French never. Do you know? You know what they did about the hijabs and stuff. Oh. So, and towards Muslims, so you need to be careful about the French. No, I believe I, I like speaking it, but... Yeah, but still, these guys are yeah. getting weird and weird. That so Prime Minister is... I mean, they get what it deserves, in a way. I don't know. I'm not trying to do a bit much of thing. You're like, oh no, I'm just carry on, yeah. yeah Let's get off politics, because, you know... Yeah. I want to do Okay, okay. Samsung it's researching so... flat metal lens tech oh, for no. smartphone oh, integration. No. Calm down. I'll take this from here. I'm the expert. Yeah. Right. Let's try and make this a bit more interesting, then. So basically, uh, uh so that, guest is calling. No, it's someone else. Basically, um, they're researching a new type of tech for the camera. So you see, like how Samsung released that camera. Come on, man, I'll make this interesting for you. Mm. 
Come on, look. Just look. Yeah, this, one. Ooh. Right. this is how it is now, and it's flat out in it. Yeah, so it I'm, looks like the yeah, iPhone one, so but flat. Yeah, I, I, but it's more out. So I'm pretty sure this new tech is a tech where it's gonna be like flat. It won't be the massive bump. And it'll be good quality as well. Yeah, I hate the book ones because you can you can easily get broken by your phone. What do you think about that? Hmm? That, that new yeah, kind of tech. Yeah, whenever you you put on the case as well, whenever yeah. you when, like pretend you throw it like across your room, mm -hmm. it won't get that smashed. It the camera will probably still be protected, probably. Mm -hmm. That's why they put it out. I probably thought people are definitely gonna buy this now. Yeah, yeah, definitely in it. But then, but then it's like another popular thing. You think about it. Remember back in the days when we used to have flat cameras, we had for a slight little period. I think we did. I Give it a take. iPhone S4. iPhone 4S. iPhone. Yeah, 4S was really bad. Back in those days, I loved it. Yeah. From, cool. I'm trying to say that um. iPhone 11 is bulky. You know the those two cameras. Yeah, yeah, that one's gonna be yeah. way better. I know. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a new kind of, it's got going back to that, but more stylish. Yeah, so better camera quality and um, mm -hmm. yeah, getting tons of messages here. But um, yeah, I think that mm -hmm. it's going back in that, into that, like, you know, thingy either. But what if they can't make it look stylish and for this century, not century, for this decade, do you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what do you think about that? Hmm. It might be better, you know, my channel is the generation for the Samsung Smooth camera phone. But we'll yeah. be on here because it's like Samsung Smooth Edge. Yeah. Uh, that'll be like a nickname, yeah. You never know, these guys are good at what they do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. But let's just read this article quickly then. Yeah. They revealed it. It says it uses nanoparticles to align light rather than relying on curved optics. Yeah. And it involves taking typically large and complicated optical structural camera lenses and flattening them into a much smaller system. Lens light using na using nanoparticles instead of large, uh, large sets of curved optics. This is very interesting, you know. A layer of transparent quartz thinner than, than a human hair was coated in millions of tiny pillars of titanium dioxide. These pillars or towers are arranged in patterns so that when light hits them, they can be sliced up and focused. Each specific pattern focuses on a different color of light. Jeez. Yeah. I don't want it. Different approaches to metal lens development have sprung up since then, including an MIT project. Metal lens could focus with no moving parts, as well as a sort of called metal lens that showed how it was creating metal lens structures for use in smartphones. While metal lens lenses, geez, this is too much, have not found their way into commercial products. Scientists are already experimenting with flattening and camera objects, including a group from the University of Ottawa who created a system that uses metal lens and the space plate to complete and eliminate modern optics. I know some of you may be thinking that why is this guy just reading the article and this, well, this is, you know, basically now technology, yeah, all the particles, but that, yeah, yeah, but it's like, it's a new type of system, and obviously MIT is like a world renowned, like, kind of a place of education in um, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, yeah. whatever, USA, but um, Samsung's just gonna make a better phone. Yeah, and they're gonna make it using nanoparticles and this new type of thing, a new type of structure, very complicated system, which is probably why they haven't been able to do it recently because of COVID in it and the prices and yeah. So I think Samsung going into a new era and this things. means all the smartphones are gonna go to a new era. I read somewhere that you know this is true this when Samsung gets like big and they've done something accomplished yet yeah. the other people follow eventually apple yeah, will all the other ones will hawaii and lg if they ain't gonna make a phone off in the air anymore um Why did stop? because they're known by the phone sadly i want to i was thinking you know if they make something very really nice and yeah i would but yeah. i know exactly they weren't making money on them so they fought tvs and their tvs man are so good aren't they yeah mm -hmm. but end of the day Watch out guys, Samsung is coming with some new revolutionary technology which is going to change the world. Samsung is coming home, guys. It's, it's coming, coming home. home. Oh, oh man, yeah, I know. We felt the first time we lost that. Man, 
gonna get them next time. Watch. Nah, next year we yeah. have to do. And the next World Cup as well. Yeah. The Samsung. Yes. And another thing about smartphone again. Smartphone tech continues to to come into cars as really? yeah as Jeep offers Gorilla Glass windshields for Gladiator and Wrangler. It's kind of weird. So I put another car in the car. It'd be yeah. kind of cool because whenever you don't have a phone, you be driving. You it's already on in. The road. It's already in. That, and then like that. Do, 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 do. that's already here, man. Yeah, on Tesla, yeah, it is. Yeah, and it, a general everything, but it kind of. But it's like Gorilla Glass isn't just for smartphones. Jeep perform Jeep performance parts. And now it's plans to offer rugged windshields. So it's about the windshields. Yeah. yeah. They're going to have the smartphone Gorilla Glass. So ultra thin. Inner ply with 50% thicker outer ply. Jeep says this makes a windshield lightweight. Also providing it with superior resistance. Chemical. Mm. Yeah, How many have smartphone screens and hmm? feature an ultra, ultra thin? thin. Glass. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, so um this basically means you know like those supercars? Yo, hey. Yeah, basically it's gonna be really really cool. Yeah, because you might you know like the um, McLaren? Yeah. McLaren's um proper fast cars, yeah. And even the ones driving out to the public, which they aim for lightweight, yeah, to get a faster speed. If they could include this kind of good of glass, yeah, they would be saving weight. Making it more faster, meaning we could see cars go even more faster than how much they're supposed to. So they can go and faster than how a the Lambo. fastest is. Forget about a Lamborghini. <laughs> I'm talking about like one McLaren, of these, McLaren. like you know what? Forget about you know you know Mercedes. They had a F1 type street car, which is like which was aimed for lightweight, I think. So if they, and if that's already fast, yeah. If they could add this. Imagine the speed and imagine it'll be fast. Yeah, imagine it's maybe over 200 miles. Yeah, and imagine what could happen in the future. Maybe more. a thousand miles. Yeah, if the canon research like this, maybe two billion miles. We could see well, it go more right. higher basically. Basically, over maybe a couple hundred in the future. Mm, that's a bit too much optimistic. 300 miles per hour would be probably like average. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, maybe. But, um, they're still working on it, obviously, artwork's been done, but that's what they're saying, and, um, yeah, so, this is a photo, of the water, but, um, okay. that's it, basically, um, windshields for the Jeep Wrangler, Glamour's are currently available to order, oh, right, it's available to order windshields, are at $793, additional variants will be offered this summer for models, so it's about models, then, for this company, they're going to be saying, if you want this, you can have it for this much more extra, yeah? That's kind of negative, but we'll see, I guess. And kind of the last topic for the day. Qualcomm announces smartphone for Snapdragon Insiders with Snapdragon 888 and 6.78 inch 144Hz AMOLED screen. Yeah, so what do I want to put in the Insiders? So it's a lot of fine base. So basically, people have been saying it's just an Asus ROG phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of sad. You know, it's like a game phone. Is it really? I don't know, it's kind of similar. It's lo There's a lot of thing hardware, AMOLED uh. screen, you know, high pixels, and good refresh rate, girl glass. But it's the same thing as the Asus ROG in a way. It's a phone. It just has the latest chip, I think, that's it. So and, the, and the Snapdragon logo, they partnered up with Asus. So that's all they got. Like, <laughs> Kind of, that's, that's just kind of a cheat. I'm kind of funny. That's yeah, so like, we, expect, we could expect so much better from these guys. They create the CPUs of one of the best phones. Yeah, they do. And this is what they do. Yeah, so much you could MSI. I don't touch up about that, but, um... That's called... No, I don't think that's something else. Snapdragon, I don't think... I don't even think... Wait, let's they check this. PC. No. Is Snapdragon... No, not Snapdragon. Snapdragon... And I check Snapdragon involved with PCs. Hmm. So they just call the Microsoft system as uh, since PC specific stream process. No, this process is Oh wait for graphics, 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 graphics. And maybe maybe am I right? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh because I'm not too sure. I don't think so. I may be wrong guys. Mm. Sorry if I am because like I do remember on the GTX 960, but well, that could be the MSI logo, so yeah, Snapdragon are involved with GPU, 
but it could be in the future, yeah, the CPU mainly. But yeah, what do you think then? I'm doing a lot of talking, so. Yeah, time. <laughs> is, uh, yeah. I'm just trying to see now, seeing what's going on. Um, yeah. Yeah, we kind of cool. Any bad points? They're copying them bombs. Obviously, that's how it is, but they're copying aces, you think? Or no? Mm, maybe not. How? I told you, like, I think it's similar specs. They're just putting a new chip in, different design on the outside, but same type of layout. And I think the hardware is more better. So, what do you think if the hardware was better than the Vogue phone? Would you go for it? Yeah. But the Vogue phone lights up, I think. Yeah. So, you go for the Vogue phone? Oh, I like light phones. Lights up in the door. Yeah. yeah. Well. I think this episode is a bit too much waffling, but um, we need to end it because I want something to do. Wow, this person, no, really, but yeah, we're in 35 minutes. Hmm, any we must have something to talk about. Hmm, anything at all. Uh, okay, go with games. Game news. Oh, yeah, I do have a game news. No, I got game news. Well. Go on, then. what's yours? I know it's a dead game. But That's a dead. Oh, you can say it. Say it. That's a dead. Basically, it's a game called Roblox. Everyone, oh, we know about Roblox. Yeah, people used to know yeah. it back in the day. Yeah, tell, tell if anyone knows that there's gonna be this new update today at eight to nine, and that's why me and my mate are gonna be playing on it. Yeah, right. testing my uh, Roblox I games. I remember Roblox when it was when it was first released. I've been telling you this so many times back in like 2015, a bit more earlier than that maybe. Or then ish, um, I played it, and after some time, you just get bored of it. Yeah, it's not. It's just, it's when, just, you, when you get a little box, just the best. For kids, it may be different, but for an adult, an older person, you get to realize that it just it it has tons of potential. I'm but yet, like, it no, has those kind I, of games, I, I, which are just boring. I, I might stop playing it soon, but. It's still fun though. I if still, if, if my friends yeah. play it, and I play it. If you had one of those like proper A plus title rings like GTA, Fortnite, yeah, and then they got big GTA. Exactly. Big GTA exactly. Game. That's boring. But well, then it's sick though, in the future, really I reckon this. In the future, they'll probably create a different kind of Roblox. We can have all those high class games. They do have real Among Us. They brought that up, but yeah, you have to pay twenty Robux or something. Yeah, like leave it. I think Roblox yeah. is just gone, man. Roblox is gone. Oh. And there was something going on about Roblox, how they've been, they've been, about the um, content creation thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, if anyone heard of um, um, Laser Beam, you start code Laser in the um, start code thingy. No, we're not sponsoring that guy. I sponsored him. Well, I've been sponsored. But um, oh, what, what do you know about what happened about that? Starcodes? No, about the um, content creation thing for Roblox. Oh yeah, Starcodes, that's a bunch of things. Basically, the, whenever you buy something, or no, not that. About how there was an issue with Roblox, like with the like, production with the music. Oh yeah, this fashion the tower as well. Basically, and uh, now if you go and chat and say slash space mute, hmm. it will mute the music, whatever your music's on. That's but a tip. Some, some games they won't. Yeah, I don't think you know the whole story, but um, basically, um. Roblox were getting sued because all of the, some of the music or most of it which content creations were using weren't like proper been mentioned so because of that they were getting sued and Roblox are in a high thingy case I'm pretty sure now yeah. let's check what's going on with Roblox yeah. yeah, go on, Michael. I'm not gonna go into the cars. I'm checking the news about Roblox. Add me on Roblox. No, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What right. the hell? Roblox. Okay. Content. Oh yeah, content. Content. Let's check. Uh, sue. Pretty sure this was the news. It was in my dream. <laughs> Music publishers sue Roblox for letting game creators use unlicensed songs. Dude. So yeah, just f words on it, you know. Some songs. Okay, okay, okay. So you don't need to say that. Um, basically, hasn't licensed music. Yeah, on the popular platform, no, lost you seeks at least two hundred million dollars. Yeah, you know what? Roblox gonna go in the ground. Bye bye, Roblox. Guys, nah, enjoy nah, what you nah, want. Nah, it's you know, going, it's going. You know what? You know, it's coming home because think about it. Kid parents mm -hmm. always buy Roblox, and then if you do the math and you pay a lot of money, 
you put him in over 200 million and boom, because oh, people around the world can play it, except for US. Not just that. Some people in the US have been Okay, okay, that's one topic. Okay, another topic. Accused of selling in-game items and then deleting them without refunds. Can so that could be a lawsuit as well. Play Roblox? See, this, me this means that Roblox is just going to the ground eventually. And hold on a second. The best part yeah, we, of this story, well, not the sad part, why is it for digital theft? Let's say you bought an iPhone with the money you earn for playing video games online that people, for one reason or another, pay to watch you do. You use the phone on a daily basis by spending too much time on whatever. Oh, Roblox I'm is the best. Uh, not, not so different. But then you wake up one morning and, one morning and notice your iPhone is gone. Right then, that old apple stuck inside your house, and you weren't looking to touch your phone. Like, wow. What well, iPhone's well, gone? So, did, but it's just a story thing about how basically Roblox had done something like that, and is being sued for. A Michigan girl and her father are suing the green company for deleting the digital pajamas they had purchased for her to use virtually. So they're getting sued for it, and I think they'll win. So Roblox is going, man. No, I'm gonna play everything. It'll definitely go downhill, and they deserve it for what they've been doing. How? Scamming, they were scamming kids basically and taking back some of their stuff and not offering refunds for the digital things. And about the music publisher's two hundred million dollars lawsuit, man. I mean, like, hmm. You can't get refunds. They didn't offer it. Roblox didn't offer it. Then how am I still in the? They didn't offer. You.